If you search online for parametric designs, especially in architecture and interiors, you will find results like this, and it's all about slicing, so it's the same process for all shapes, and we will learn that today. In Blender, and with the default cube, which we will not delete, we can scale it around to shape something like a chair or a bench. The aim here is to make a basic shape or block of the model we want. Once you're done with the dimensions, use Ctrl-R to add cuts on the model in the area you see fit. This way we can push or pull some parts around easily. I will go for a symmetrical two sides bench with the back area shifting from one side to the other. Again, you can have any image on the side to work on it, and it's all basic in its core, so go for whatever you have in mind. I can now drop on this a subdivision surface modifier on level 3 to get the curves. You can also use deformation on this, so by adding a lattice object around the mesh, then a lattice modifier which is linked to the grid we added. We can use the freeform deformation, which is a powerful tool to play with your mesh the way you want. This is optional, so you can skip it if you want something basic like a table, but it's cool to be familiar with. Here you can play with those dots on the lattice grid to deform the shape, which should be easy. Once you're done with the shape, we need to apply the modifiers. The subsurface is low, so we need to make it on 5 or 6, which is heavy but necessary to not end up with low poly slices. What we need now is a simple plane positioned at the start of this shape. And remember to apply rotation, cause we need to copy it with a ray. Change the array once you add it to constant type and pick the axis that fits your scene with any starting value for the distance. We also need Boolean, but that would be heavy sometimes, so turn your mesh to bounds view from the viewport display. The Boolean we need is the intersect type with easy solver and pick the model as a target object. A solidify modifier is needed for the thickness on those array slices, so try to balance that with the array distance. Any number you assign for the thickness, double it or something around that for the array distance. This way, you get a nice result in general. The array now is the only thing to worry about. So fix your distance and count value until you're satisfied. You can use any wood material on it. There's also a UV option in the array to go with or apply everything if you want a final product and UV the entire slices. It's all up to you. A bevel on this is also awesome. Add it under the solidify modifier. Won't do much from far comparing to the extra load it adds, but it will be a nice shot with chamfering. And that's what we have for today. Subscribe cause why not and see you in another time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.